Hello and welcome to Gamer Food Season 2. Now to start this season off, I want to take a look at some of my older recipes. Now if you recall, in Episode 8 of Season 1, I made a burrito. Now this burrito, uh, like isn't bad, but the recipe is simple. It's an already pre-mixed uh, bean and meat paste put on a tortilla. And I figured there's a lot more I can do with the burrito recipe. So, today I'm going to show you an even better burrito. Alright, so just like before, we're gonna have some beans that we're gonna want to put on this tortilla. However, you are going to want to heat these beans up first. So, we'll go ahead and put the beans in our microwave, which since that episode has had its handle broken. So the beans will go in the microwave for, I'd say there's a decent bit of beans in there, just to be on the safe side, I'd say at least one minute. Now, while your beans heat, you're going to want to take a tomato. And you can either cut the whole tomato, or you can only cut off a few bits that you want to use. If you have extra tomato, you can always just save for your next burrito, maybe you're making two burritos, or if you want, you can have salad with it, throw some lettuce in a bowl, maybe cut a cucumber to go with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and slice the whole tomato since I don't think we have any use for the tomato on its own, so even if I don't use all this, it'll be good to have some slices here. You can also choose to slice them thinner if you want, but I generally like uh, some good thick slices. It has some good uh, juicy meat, like it's not actually meat because it's tomato, but anyways, I'm rambling, so we're going to move on to the next step. Now, if you've heated up your beans, next up you're going to want to heat up your cheese. The reason I'm heating up these ingredients before putting it in there is because I don't want to heat up the tomatoes or lettuce or sour cream. You'll, some ingredients will be hot, some ingredients will be cold. So next up, we'll be heating up some cheese. I'll be going with uh, this like is it a salsa con queso, cheese sauce. And, but if you want, you can choose to shred cheese out of the cheese grater or with a knife. The choice is yours. I am not sure if this uh, jar is microwave safe. Even if it is, I'm not sure if I want to heat up the whole thing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my spoon in there. Wow, that's crunchy. And I'm going to pull some cheese out. Now, that would probably be enough for just the burrito, but I think I'm also going to have a bit of, like use this for a little bit of a dip with some uh, with something else afterwards. Also, while I don't want to heat up the whole thing, I can see like heating up enough that I have it in a good liquid that can be used for the day. Now this time when you're microwaving your cheese, I'm not sure if a minute will be all good. You'll want to check it out if it starts beeping. I'm going to start with 45 seconds, and if I hear it uh, bubbling too much, I might pull it out early, but uh, 45 seconds is a good start. All right, the cheese is almost ready. There's still a little bit of some uh, like solid mass in there that didn't quite melt with the rest. So I'm gonna put it in for about uh, 30 more seconds. And if it starts bubbling too much, I'll let it out. But I think 30 seconds should be good. So if you're not doing the math yourself at home, so far we have 75 seconds, AKA one minute and 15 seconds. All right, let's take a look at that cheese now. Yeah, while well, you can still see a bit of uh, mushiness to it, that's just kind of how this cheese is. It's, I'd say it's a bit good. Actually, maybe even a little too much on the side. Maybe I should have gone with exactly one minute. But the majority of it is good. Next up, we have the last hot ingredient. And these are even optionally hot. Now, you might expect some roast beef or ground beef. I'm not going with that right now. Mainly because I don't have it on me right now. So instead, I'm going to be making my own little beef concoction here. So we're gonna start off with some bacon that I already have. Probably about, uh, let's see, that adds up to about one slice. Slice and a half should be fine. And then next we have the superior way to eat pig, ham. This is some turkey meat ham. We'll also probably want about, uh, we'll probably want about slices right here. Now you'll put the meat inside the microwave and that should be good to only really need 30 seconds and especially if you're using turkey meat ham you don't want it to get too shriveled up 
uh, or too crunchy. Uh, the crunch should be in the bacon, the ham should still be nice and smooth and squishy. So if you hear it start to crackle a lot, you'll want to open that up early. I ended up pulling mine out exactly one second early. Well, it showed the one second just a second ago here. Let me try opening it. Yeah, one second. One second early was where I pulled mine. So 29 seconds, technically. Next up, now that we have almost all of our ingredients totally ready, uh, some of them, they just get put in directly without needing any heating or slicing. So first up, we're going to want to start by putting some beans in here. You want the beans to be about down the middle. Alright, and I think a little bit more would be good. There you go. And there's your beans. Next, you'll want to add the meat. So you'll pick up one of your slices of ham. You'll just want to tear it along, so that's not too big. Like so. In fact, now that I'm looking at it more, maybe only one slice of ham was needed, but you could add the second slice if you want, or if you have smaller ham, uh, you might want to add the second one. So yeah. Live and learn, you know, this is my first time actually putting this recipe into action. For the bacon, I just want to break it up a little bit, and you'll lay the bacon along as well. And next you want to add the last of the hot items, your cheese. You want to scoop a bit on there. You want to spread it over the meat. Ah, whoops. Yeah, that's so nice, but hey, it's all gonna get folded up soon anyways. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go, and that should be enough cheese. Next up, you're gonna want a head of lettuce. Uh, you can just take it out and lay some lettuce along this uh, meat part. That's probably be good. You can use a knife to shred it up a bit better if you want, but this should work for me. Nextly, you're gonna want some sour cream. Now, if your sour cream's been sitting for a little bit and it has that liquid in it, ew, some splashed on me. Uh, you're gonna wanna stir that up. I got paper towel to wipe that up. Just stir slowly, get the sour cream all mixed up. Then we'll grab a spoonful and slowly move it across along the lettuce. There we go, that should be enough sour cream. Sour cream can get can have an overwhelming flavor really fast, so you don't want to have too much. This one neat little line should do ya. And for the final ingredient before we uh, wrap this up, uh, pun intended, is the tomatoes. You'll probably want to stick about three or four, depending on how big you made your tomato slices or how big the tomato you were slicing in general was, along it. And now for the final step, just got to fold it up. Whoops, I took off the camera. Now you're going to want to squish it in a little bit with the sides here. Fold it that over. And you're gonna to wanna to fold one side in, then the next side as you keep pushing these middle inside parts in. Yeah, this is pretty full burrito, a little bit tricky, but if you uh, spread it right, you should be able to get it closed without too much of a hassle. Fingers might get a little bit messy, but you should be able to fold it nice and closed just like that. You just gotta apply pressure because they're all squishy materials, uh, these ingredients, that will get squished down into your burrito nice and easy. Oh, a little piece of ham got out. Thank you very much for watching Gamer Foods today. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to see more Gamer Foods, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, comment down below if you have any ideas for recipes that I should make here. Have a great day!